What is going on, Genius Family? Welcome to App Central. My name is Fareed, and in today's video, I want to chat with you guys surrounding a proposal for a brand new feature which will be coming to the Genius Yield decks, being proposed as a part of Project Catalyst funding round number 10. Now, this is going to be a DEX aggregator being launched again by the Genius Yield team. Now, what I want to do is not only touch on the actual Project Catalyst proposal, I want to share with you guys an educational video released by the team and then talk about a little bit of the competition surrounding DEX aggregation. Now, if you're not familiar with what a DEX aggregator is, it's basically going to be a way to get the best prices available on the Cardano network when trying to perform a swap for a Cardano native token. So, for example, we have platforms like MinSwap, SundaySwap, Wingriders, MuseSwap, and we're also expecting the launch of Axo Trade as well as the launch of the Genius Yield DEX. Now, when Cardano first started out, because of a lack of aggregators, when you were making a trade on a particular DEX, the entire trade was executed on that DEX by itself. Now, given the fact that, you know, a lot of liquidity or the majority of the liquidity for whichever token you're trying to trade may not necessarily be on that DEX and also taking into account other trades as well as slippage in the actual liquidity pool as your trade is being executed, that particular DEX that you're starting the trade on might not always be the best once the actual trade is completed or is fully executed. So understanding that, what a DEX aggregator is aiming to do is take a look across multiple DEXs in order to give you the best price on your particular trade. Now, what I think we're going to be seeing with the Genius Yield DEX aggregator is going to be the incorporation of SORs or smart, smart order routers, which will actually take a look across all the DEXs and potentially fill portions of your order depending on the best price or the best value per that DEX. Now, another cool thing here is that these will be run or can be run by the community. Again, they will be off chain and they will also be able to have their own algorithm tied back to whoever is running that particular SOR. So let's jump into a little bit of the background surrounding the SORs. Then I'm going to jump into that educational clip and then we're going to wrap up today's video by talking about a little bit of the competition and what my closing thoughts are. Now, if you guys want any information surrounding Genius Yield, I do have a fully dedicated playlist breaking down everything that they're bringing to Cardano, as well as some updates surrounding the launch of their decks. Now, pivoting back over into smart order routers, it states here from their official documentation that orders on the Genius decks have two main purposes or two main phases. First, orders are submitted on the Cardano ledger. They are then picked up and executed by Smart Order Routers or SORs for short. Now, SORs are going to be off-chain bots that execute a routing algorithm that scans the blockchain for open orders. Then it matches them based on their trigger conditions and then submits new transactions back to the ledger to perform the swap state transitions. Each smart swap encodes trigger conditions that must be fulfilled by the SOR to execute the swap. Again, to simplify, this is going to be two phases. One will be the actual transaction made on chain, which is then passed off to the SORs. And then as each of those conditions are met, they are then executed and then created as new transaction to pass back over to the Cardano node. So that said, let's jump quickly into the actual proposal again which is available on the idea scale website as well as lido nation and what we see here is going to be the fact that the team is requesting a total of 346,000 ADA. Now, that said, that translates over to about $104,000 given the current price of Cardano. And again, keep in mind that that price is fluctuating so that USD value will fluctuate as well. If we scroll down a little bit, we have a fully dedicated paragraph or section here breaking down the entire solution. And then what I want to do is quickly touch on the actual members as a part of this particular proposal. So we have quite a robust team here being backed by Dr. Lars Brunez, Laurent Balandi, as well as Dr. Sathi Coleman and Marvin Burton, who I've had on the channel, breaking down Maestro, which is going to be an infrastructure platform building on Cardano. 
So we read here with respect to Laurent that he's going to be a serial entrepreneur who's focused on digital online businesses for over 20 years. Lately, he's co-founded both Genius Yield, which is going to be the DEX, and he's also co-founded Genius X or their accelerator program or their sister project, which I've actually also covered here on the channel in great detail. Now, both of these platforms are basically run by the same team, again, given the fact that there's a lot of cross pollination or overlap. Now, in addition to Laurent, there's also Dr. Lars Brunjes, who is currently actually in Kenya teaching Haskell, which is going to be a development language for Cardano. And it states here that he's a mass ma mathematician, excuse me, and a Haskell developer. As a director or as the director of education at Input Output Global or IOG, the engineering research behind Cardano, Lars has taught thousands of people how to build smart contracts. So I think his particular background in math, as well as the fact that he's taught many classes when it comes to Haskell, makes him the right fit here for something like this, given his strength here being the development or the technical aspects here of Cardano. Now, last but not least, we've got Marvin Burton, and it states here that along with Dr. Lars Brunez, he has also co-led research and development for Genius X and Genius Yield, and he also currently leads the creation of technology infrastructure and development behind the Genius X launchpad, the staking NFT structure, and many other projects within the Genius X and Genius Yield platforms. I mentioned earlier that he is also the head of Maestro, which is going to be a full stack solution for developers looking to build on Cardano. So I have no worries that this particular team can deliver on what they're aiming to achieve with this particular DEX aggregator. Now that we've reviewed the actual platform or the actual proposal, what SORs are, let's quickly dive into this educational video that was released by the team. And then I'm going to give you guys my closing thoughts here as to what we can expect from the Genius Yield DEX. Genius Yield presents Cross DEX Order Aggregator Project Catalyst Fund 10 Proposal What is a Cross DEX Order Aggregator? Cross-Dex Order Aggregator is an open-sourced framework that connects liquidity across DEXs to increase efficiency, decrease volatility, and offer arbitrage opportunities. Currently, DEX liquidity on Cardano is fragmented across protocols and not easily accessible to the public, leading to capital inefficiency, higher volatility, and missed arbitrage opportunities. The new Cross-Dex Open Source Framework will introduce a novel and powerful tool to the Cardano ecosystem. It will empower the Cardano community to run their own bots, smart order routers, SORs, capable of matching orders from multiple DEXs. This will transform the entire DeFi ecosystem on Cardano, connecting DEXs and aggregating liquidity together. Vote for Genius Yield's proposal at bit.ly slash order dash aggregator. Right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that brief video again, touching on all of the benefits and all of the use cases that we can have here with this particular DEX aggregator. Again, this is going to be aiming to be an open source framework to connect liquidity across DEXs in order to give users the best prices available on the Cardano network. I think the fact that, you know, a lot of teams are kind of after a solution like this kind of shows the leverage as well as the need for a solution such as this. And I'm going to be touching on some of those here in just a minute. Now, one thing that this helps out with is going to be the increase in efficiency, again, from an end user standpoint, as well as decreasing price volatility on a particular DEX if a huge trade is being executed there, where again, it may not necessarily be the best thing to do at that particular time. Now, some of the competitors looking to do something very similar include Dex Hunter, which I've had Nikita here on the channel to talk about what they're building and the fact that they're also going to be doing partial fills using their Dex aggregator. Again, to simplify this, if you're looking to, pur to purchase Token X at, you know, one particular DEX or using their DEX aggregator, you could actually see a portion of your trade being executed on DEX number one, and then another portion being executed on DEX number two. Now, I believe that with the SORs, again, depending on how you have an algorithm set, you can also get a similar result. 
So interesting to see that, you know, Dex Hunter is also going to be doing or taking the same approach as Genius Yield. And that's not going to be all. We've also got the Musi Swap team, which has a Dex aggregator right now. However, it only executes orders on a particular Dex or on a single Dex. They're going to be releasing their Dex aggregator V2, which will be taking advantage of partial fills as well. So that's now going to be bringing three different Dexes aiming to build a similar kind of aggregator. We also have Indigo, which has their own in-house aggregator. If you're not familiar with Indigo, I've got a full dedicated playlist breaking down what they're bringing to the network, but they're going to be a synthetics platform, giving exposure to assets that are not native to Cardano to members that are in Cardano. Now, their particular DEX aggregator, at least as far as I'm aware, only provides you a trade on a single deck. So again, it is not as efficient as it could be. However, you do get the benefit of comparing prices across multiple DEXs. Last but not least, we've also got a DEX aggregator coming in from the Jira Wallet team on their mobile device or on mobile devices. So if you wanna go ahead and actually scan for the best price on particular assets, you can do that using the Jira Wallet app. And again, I think that this is just going to execute the trade on one particular deck. So hopefully we see the Jira Wallet team adopt a similar solution as well as Indigo when it comes to partial fills across multiple DEXs in order to even make this process a little bit more efficient than it currently already is. Now, I do think that, you know, given the fact that many platforms are looking to do the same thing, that it is a good thing. This is going to force the best player to win, similar like we saw with wallets on Cardano, right, where we had a huge inflow of new wallets coming online, similar to DEXs on Cardano, where we're seeing a lot of new DEXs coming online. And the biggest thing that differentiates them are some of their quality of life features. So I think just like with those two examples, we're going to see that when it comes to the DEX aggregators, that the best one will win. And that's going to be the one that does this the smoothest the easiest and also does it the quickest so i'll be keeping an eye out to see you know how everybody else implements theirs but i do think that given the background and the expertise that the genius yield team has that they have a really good shot of being the leader when it comes to dex aggregators now in closing i did also release a video not too long ago touching on their options protocol. So very similar to what we're expecting with OPT or the options flow protocol being developed by the MusiSwap team, we can expect options to be coming to the Genius Yield decks as well. And I have a full dedicated video touching on what that is and their funding round number 10 proposal, breaking down their options logic. Again, if you guys want more information surrounding that, check out that video. And then last but not least, just generally speaking about the Genius Shield decks, they are also going to be planning on launching their testnet very, very soon. They've successfully launched their internal testnet with a small group, and they're now going to be opening that up to OGs, I believe sometime within the month of August or early September. After that particular round of testing by their OGs, who hold their ISPO NFT, they'll be opening it up to the general public where you can finally get your hands on testing the Genius Seal Dex. As always, as soon as I get my hands on this, I'll be releasing additional videos. So make sure to go ahead and turn on those bell notifications to stay up to date for additional Genius Yield information. That is going to bring me to the end here for today's video, touching on the proposal for the DEX aggregator using SORs being proposed by the Genius Yield team. If you found this to be informational or helpful in any way, shape or form, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more information like this, consider subscribing to the DAP Central YouTube channel. And if you have any questions for me surrounding Genius Yield or any of the other platforms or protocols that we discussed today, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.